John Penrose, easily. I agree that while subsidies are necessary short-term sticking classes, investors won't commit the multi-billion pound investments the energy sector needs to upgrade and modernise energy storage, generation and transmission unless the long-term rules are clear. Will he therefore update the energy bill to lay out a sustainable long-term future with investable deadlines and milestones to, transmission, to transition from today's highly distorted, politicised and bureaucratic sector to a cheaper, simpler, better value industry with much lower political and regulatory risks? Well, Mr Speaker, I, I'm proud of the fact that this Government has led the way with things like the Contracts for Difference scheme in driving renewables such as offshore wind and driving down the cost. But I'm also delighted, uh, Mr Speaker, to say to the House that we, w we, are going to have, we do have the legislative vehicle to deliver the changes necessary, the Energy Security Bill, which will be taken forward this Parliament. It will transform our energy industry, turbocharging uh, issues like uh, carbon capture, uh, util utilisation and storage, and hydrogen hydrogen industries in pioneering projects from the Humber to the Mersey and beyond. The Bill will encourage competition in the energy sector, creating opportunity, prosperity and security with clean jobs, new skills and, as my honourable friend rightly highlights, cheaper bills. Samuel Wilson. 